everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber Rachel. If you're new here, I do make motherhood and lifestyle videos every single Wednesday. And we just moved to Hawaii, so I have a lot of good videos in store for you guys. So if you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. I do also want you guys to keep in mind that I do post on Wednesdays, but I am six hours behind the East Coast in the United States, and I'm three hours behind the West Coast in the United States. So even though I post on Wednesday my time, it might not show up on your feed until Thursday your time. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about what's in my diaper bag for my toddler. This is my one-year-old daughter, Ariana, so I'm going to be showing you guys what's in my diaper bag that I keep on hand for her for whenever we go out and about. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. <laughs> filming what's in my diaper bag video a couple of months ago. My daughter was about six months old at the time, so what was in that diaper bag was very different from what's in this diaper bag. And it's also a different diaper bag in itself entirely. So if you are interested in looking in my what's in my diaper bag video for a baby, then I'll go ahead and have that video linked up on the screen for you guys to so go ahead and check that out. But now that she's a toddler, like I said, I have to carry completely different stuff. So I just wanted to go ahead and kind of give an updated video of what I carry in her diaper bag now that she is a toddler. So first I want to talk about the diaper bag itself. This isn't a actual diaper bag, it's just kind of a backpack that I use as a diaper bag because I just really liked it and I thought it was cute. Um, my husband got this for me as like a mommy gift and it was a little bit of a splurge item but like I said I really like it and it's something that I use every single day so you know I wanted it to be special and he offered so I got it. Um, this is a Michael Kors bag and Michael Kors usually is pretty expensive and I think originally this bag retailed for like four, four something closer to five but obviously I'm on a budget we're not paying that much for a bag. I found this one at the outlets and we got it because it was actually relatively cheap. I was able to get this Michael Kors backpack, the matching purse and the matching wallet for like 280 something like that um, which I know isn't like super super cheap but you know, like I said, it was a splurge item and I really like it and I use it every day. So that's the bag that we got. And like I said, it is a backpack. So unlike the other diaper bag that I had that had the stroller straps and like how you can carry it like a purse, this one only has the backpack straps, but the backpack straps are very padded and they're very soft, which is good because this bag does tend to get heavy. And it also has a pocket on each side of the diaper bag and then one here in front. So the compartment that I have up front is kind of for stuff that I need like quick and easy access to. So the things that I have in here are one of her toys which usually will kind of calm her down if she's having like a meltdown. So I like to keep that toy up front for easy access, you know, like I said, just in case she's having a meltdown. And then I also have her snacks in here. So she does love applesauce pouches and peanut butter crackers. So those are typically the two snacks that I have in the diaper bag most frequently. And normally on the side pockets, I don't really keep anything. The only thing that I keep in my side pocket are my sunglasses and nothing else. So once you get inside of the bag, it does have a lot of stuff in it. And I promise there's like a method to the madness because it does look a little bit crazy. But the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and talk about this pocket that we have here on the back. And it is like a zipper pocket. So once you unzip it and you go inside of it, I have some stuff that I just like to carry around for me. Um, so I call it like my little mommy pocket. So the first thing that we have are some masks. I do like to carry these around, obviously, because of COVID. Even though I'm vaccinated, I still prefer to wear my mask. And here in Hawaii, it's mandated anyway. So I do keep some extra masks just in case me or my husband need one, or just in case a friend needs one or something like that. Then I have a pack of masks with me. I also do have a pack of gum in there that I like to keep, and then some mints. So I have those in there as well. And also, just like my last What's In My Diaper Bag video, I do like to keep feminine products just in case, you know, accidents happen. And the last thing that I have in my mommy pocket is this charger. So this is a, first of all, it's a long charger, which I really like because obviously long chargers come in handy when outlets are super far away. You don't need those yet. Those are for later on in your life, okay? Another thing that I like about this charger is that it has three different types of charging cables attached to it. So this cable has a micro USB charger, a USB type C charger, and then an iPhone charger. So this is good, so like if I need to charge my iPhone, then I have a cord, or if I, 
Or if I need to charge her stroller fan or something like that, one of her toys, then it has the other types of chargers attached to it. So here on the inside of the bag, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the rest of the items that I carry for her. So right when my daughter turned one, like right after she had her one year checkup with her doctor, I came home and I threw away every single one of her bottles and traded them for some sippy cups. So no more formula, so we don't have to carry around the formula container or her bottles or her baby water. All we carry around are her sippy cups. They're just the parent's choice brand and they're only a dollar. And I don't know if other brands come with it, but they don't have like a cover for the mouth part. So I always just kind of put them in a Ziploc bag so that way they're not just touching everything inside of the diaper bag. We use these and it also does have like the ounces measurements on the side of it, which I do like about it so I can see how much like juice or water or whatever she's drinking. So these are the ones that we like to use. So I just carry two with her whenever we're like on the go. And then if we go to a restaurant, then I'll just ask for either water or apple juice because a lot of times they don't carry whole milk which is what she does drink um so we just carry them and we carry them empty so that way we can fill it with whatever we need and also for whenever she does need her milk on the go then i do have this little thermos that i bought i bought it for like only like eight bucks so it's pretty affordable um and it's just like a regular thermos it's the brand primula um and it's this pretty like seafoam green color so we just have that and whenever we're leaving and we know we want to give her milk when we're on the go, then I'll just go ahead and fill this up with whole milk and throw it in the diaper bag and then just pour it in one of her sippy cups for whenever she's ready for it. The next thing that I have inside of the main compartment is this little pouch right here. And this is just where I keep a little bit of like essentials that, you know, either her or I could use on the go. So the first thing that I have in this little pouch are these um, Highland Babies Calming Tablets. Next thing I have is an extra hand sanitizer. You can never have enough hand sanitizer nowadays with COVID. So I like to keep those in there. And then I also do have this little phone stand. Um, it's collapsible, so it's really slim and it folds up really thin. So I do like to keep this in here just in case either I need a phone stand or if she wants to watch TV on my phone. You can put your phone in there like this or you can have it standing up. And then I also just have like some hand lotion and then I have a couple of hair ties. Again, that's just for me. Um, just to keep my hair up if I want to put it up and I don't have a hair tie with me. And then the last thing I have in here are just a couple of rubber bands. They're just black little rubber bands just so if she has her hair down and she needs to have her hair put up, then I can put her hair up because her hair is actually getting really, really long. So the next thing that I have inside of her bag is this fan. I'll have everything linked in the description below, but I don't really know how to pronounce it. I'm assuming it's Amacool or Amacool, but this is a fan. Um, it tilts up and down. And then it does have a light with three different brightnesses levels. And then it has three different fan speeds. And it's actually like a really good fan. It does a really good job of keeping her cool. And then the one thing that I really do like about it is that it has these three different legs, kind of like a tripod, but they're bendable. You can bend them whatever way you want. And so that way you can wrap it to the stroller. So whatever stroller you have, it should be able to wrap around it or whatever you want to wrap it on the car seat. Whatever the case may be, if you want to wrap this around it, then it should be able to wrap around it and keep your baby cool at whatever angle. Because now that we're living in Hawaii, it does get very, very hot here. So I do like to keep the fan in here just in case it does get pretty hot out and I need to keep her cool. Next thing in here is my wallet. Like I said, I did get the matching wallet to match the bag. My pores, I love it. And then it has a little spot right here on the back for my phone. So I always keep my wallet in there because this diaper bag is pretty much my purse. So the next thing that I have in my diaper bag is this little mesh bag right here. And I will find the link for these mesh bags and link them in the description box for you guys to have if you wanted to purchase them. This is what I use to keep some of her like feeding stuff in it for when we go out to restaurants. So I recently bought these and I think that they're really, really cool um, because I, I don't know, I'm, I just never thought of them before. So I have some um, disposable bibs and I used to just carry around like one of her regular silicone bibs that we used at the house. But I found these and I thought that these were really, really cool. So I bought a pack of these to carry for when we go out to eat and everything. Yeah, so I just have like four or five bibs here. And so they open up. They are stuck together right here, but you just rip them apart and it has like the perforated line there for you to know where to rip. 
and then it has velcro so you can secure it around your child's neck and then it has this little pocket right here so that way when they're eating the food will get caught in the pocket and not go in their lap and then it's also waterproof so that way it's not going to be soaking through the bib and getting your child all wet and messy anyway so I'm going to go ahead and fold these up and put them back and then this is the next thing that we have and these are disposable placemats when I was a server like way back in the day um, I did see a lot of parents using these, but I never thought about using them for myself when I became a parent up until recently I thought about it. And so they're just like these cute little placemats and then I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it has like these little red strips all around the edges and those are actually adhesive strips. So you just peel the backing off so you can stick it to the restaurant table whenever you go out. So. <laughs> I use these because she can't really rip these off because they're stuck to the table on all four sides. So whenever we go to a restaurant, I just take these four little corners off and stick it to the table. And then I'll let her use this as kind of her plate. And so the only thing that's left in the main compartment is my diaper changing station, which again, if you've seen my baby diaper bag, what's in my diaper bag video, then this is the same thing that I used back then. This is the kitty care diaper bag I guess that's what you could call it because it's a bag for your diapers so on the inside of it it opens up and this is a little changing pad so you can use this when you go out and change your baby and this square right here is a memory pad pillow so that way they have a little bit of comfort when they're getting their diaper changed so there's that and it does detach and come off if you didn't want to take that part with you if you only want it to take this part, then you can just go ahead and carry that part and it clips back up. So you can only carry this part and you can not carry that. But I use both of them, so I carry both of them. Um, but on the, on the top part of it, it just has a two straps right here to hold your pack of baby wipes. And then up here, it does have this mesh pocket and this is where I like to keep her diapers. We're using the Love's diapers and I've tried out multiple brands of diapers and so far, Love's are my favorite by far and they're like one of the most cost effective diapers out there let me know in the comments down below what diapers you guys use for your babies and why you guys like it so that's everything that's in like the big main center part of the diaper bag and then in addition to this little zipper pouch right here there's another pocket here along the back side and so in that I have her little Amazon fire tablet which her grandmother got her I did not her grandmother got it for her so that way like when we go out to restaurants or well my mom actually bought it for us for the plane ride over here to Hawaii so that way my daughter wouldn't be stuck using my phone the whole time and I would be without a phone so I appreciate my mom buying this for her. So she got her um, the tablet and we just downloaded episodes of Coco Melon on here and we let her watch this on the plane and it came in handy. And the only time that she really uses or watches this is if we're out on the go and like I said, she's like having a fit or a meltdown, then we'll pull this out and let her watch Coco Melon episodes or like when we go to a restaurant or whatever. And then I also do create a small can of Lysol. And the last thing that I have in this pocket is a little outfit for her because my daughter always gets her outfits ruined when we go out so I always have to make sure that I bring an extra outfit for her to change into just in case so those are everything that was in that back pocket and then if we go to the front of the bag then you'll see that there's like another inner pocket here on the front and so in this pocket the only thing that I keep in here is my rechargeable battery pack this is the anchor brand and honestly, this is by far the best battery pack that I've ever had in my entire life. And that is not an exaggeration at all. It does take a really long time to charge. Like if you want it fully charged, this is something that you have to leave like overnight to get a full charge on it. But it lasts for a long time. Like once you fully charge it, you can get like at least three. Ooh, my husband's calling me. Okay. I had to go pick up my husband, so I don't know where. I left off. Yeah, but generally I really don't know where I left off at. I think I was talking about the battery. The battery pack is really good. It lasts for a really long time. It takes forever to charge, but it's really good. And like I said, I'll have it linked down in the description below. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back inside. So that's how I have everything organized in the diaper bag. And yeah like I said if you guys haven't checked out the um, the newborn not the newborn diaper bag video but just like my general baby what's my diaper bag video then like I said I will have that one linked 
um, probably on like the end credits and check that out if you guys are interested and yeah that's what's in my diaper bag for my toddler Alright you guys, so that wraps up today's video. I really hope you all enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I do put out new videos every single Wednesday about motherhood and lifestyle. And I would love to have you following along because I have tons of new videos that I have planned for you guys in the next couple of weeks. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss those and turn on the notifications so you get notified when I post. And other than that, I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy and we will see you guys next week. Bye!